Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Against the Storm. It is a it's a roguelike settlement builder, which might sound kind of weird if you're not familiar, uh, but it plays kind of similarly to Banished or a couple other different types of settlement management games, except for this one's on a clock. I guess all of them kind of are, but this one, you only vaguely have about an hour. To explore as much of this environment as possible, build up as good of a village as you can, and hopefully, hopefully get enough reputation that you can leave and get a win. And then you get some meta progression, which you can then carry into uh, subsequent runs. And you can also set, a, set up extra settlements that you can then trade resources with, which is actually really cool. Much of the game involves uh, cutting through these, well, I'd say trees, but it's mushwood. Huh. Neat. It involves cutting through mushwood to get access to glades. Each glade has maybe an event or a resource or a something, and if it's got the, the deer skull, it's dangerous. So it might be a little bit more challenging, might be a little bit riskier. Uh, I played this when it was on the Epic Game Store, but it is now available on Steam. Harpies, Harpy House, sure. And what else we have? Uh, let's see, Carpenter Lumber Mill, Leather Worker Herbalist Camp. So, starting point for herbalists to go out and gather herbs, berries, and mushrooms. Whereas this can produce planks, simple tools, and packs of lux luxury goods. I almost want... Oh, I don't know what simple tools are necessarily useful for. I almost want to get the herbalist camp. Just for basic survival. And... Oh, good. We can also get the herb... Oh, wait, no. That's the herb garden. We need that. Hopefully we'll get some more as we go along. Okay, so first and foremost, we want to kind of cut our way in here. We don't want to go into any of the dangerous glades if we can avoid it because, you know, risky scary. And we want to take a look at some stuff. So we have harpies. Harpies are noble and fragile species. <clears throat> they excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. Whereas lizards are good with animals and meat production, prefer to wor work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature. I usually go for beavers, to be honest, but you know what? We're here. So, path, paved road, but we need stone and reinforced road, which is not super doable. Okay, so what I usually do is I just surround my, um, my hearth, which is this... I don't even know what this thing is. an ancient hearth. It looks freaking cool, at the very least, and we can sacrifice stuff. You can also upgrade the hub, which is new. Eight population and four decorations to advance the hub. That's interesting. They've changed a lot over the last couple months since... Gosh, was it like a year since I last played this game? I, it, might, it might honestly be. Ooh. So that requires a specific resource that I do not have. Well, for now, I think we're just going to get a couple of shelter, right? Do we? Do shelters actually help? Can accommodate villagers won't satisfy their needs. Has uh, has to be built near a hearth. I forget how happiness is strictly calculated. So look, if I take a look at this. Because it needs harpy housing. And sheltered. Okay, cool. So shelter does give us some... Uh, a little bit of a bonus. It's not much of one. Current resolve 5. Gain reputation. Yeah, the main question is, do I actually want to go out of my way to build one of those? Big question mark? Okay, stone cutter, wood cutter camp. This is what we need the most. And I believe you can move things freely. So I'm just going to slap this down. And we'll get a roll in. So what else do we have? Small hearth, trading post, which we will need. Uh, possibly sooner than later. So I'll get that a rolling. Decorations. Interesting. Lamps, bushes, flower beds. Unfortunately, a number of them cost some resources. The decorations are used to advance hubs. Skewers, education. Brawling. Hmm. Is it the same need on both? Yeah. Because, yeah, if I want to upgrade this. Ah, and it has to be housed within reach. 
We do have some stone deposits, but I'm going to work my way into this first and foremost. And then we'll figure out the rest. Let's see. Can I, can I swap? Because I think the lizards are probably better. When it comes to working those. Oh, and the resolve quantification is like way better than it was. Or at least way better than I remember it being. Okay. Looks like... Oh. Do I only have one lizard? Oh, I only have one lizard. And he runs the fire. So we have nine harpies, one lizard. Okay, what is this? Oh, pick a cornerstone. Production yields for all packs of goods, or villagers will give you their very last piece of amber for a pint of decent ale. 20 amber for every 100 ale produced. Oh, that's tough. Production yields for packs of good is, goods is actually really good. Local taxes is great, assuming I can get... Assuming I can get that. I... Boo, I do not know. This is free resources and we're going to want the ale. Well, free resources. Okay, consumption control, trade routes is unavailable. Do we have anything else that we pick here? Queens and patience goes up. I think not. Okay, other thing, did I... Yeah, I filled that out. Let's build a stonecutter's camp. And a second. Gonna take me a little bit to get used to this. And a second woodcutter's camp that I'm just gonna put up and over here. The paths make my my dudes move faster, but eh. We're gonna stay on times three speed just because I don't mind the extra speed. What's consumption control? Oh, controls what my villagers are allowed to use effectively. Say if I want to trade a resource. Okay, so we have three orders that we can complete. They give us reputation and maybe some bonuses and some other stuff. So extra pack pack of crop production. Uh, planting crops is faster versus. Extra herb production, herb yield, more herbs, two more villagers. So that this gets us a decent perk, considering I might have herb production to begin with. The only immediate problem is this is three packs of crops. This, oh, this just wants an herbless camp. Hold up. I do have that, yeah? Yes. So actually, this one... Shouldn't be too hard. We'll still need, to, still need to get the mushrooms and the berries, but that's not as bad. And it'll get us two more people, a bunch more herbs. So let's snag that. Next up, we have scavenger camp, stone cutter camp. Gets us some basic parts, clay, reeds. Versus two woodcutter camp and 30 logs. I'm just going to pick this one because that's easy. And then, what do we have? Villagers move 10% faster on roads. Requires 35 paths. I mean, that's... These resources would be good, the bundles of fabric actually especially, but faster on roads actually it seems really worthwhile. And we're already well on our way to completing multiple of these. And so it seems kind of like a no-brainer. Do that. Okay. I still have two, two harpies. Or yeah, I still have plenty of harpies. I don't want to like overdo it too much. I think this will be fine. But yeah, we're about to complete one of them. And every time we hit one of these reputation points, we get a new tech. Which is going to be very helpful. Okay, is that a root? I, it is a root deposit. So we'll want the herbalist hut at some point. I guess I'll just put it there. We have one builder who may or may not actually be building. I don't think it should matter too much. Okay, so we have a clearing. Leech brood mothers and worm tongue nests. So these... Okay, dead leech brood mother has a strong, somewhat sweet smell. Can be gathered using a trapper's camp. Unfortunately, we don't have a trapper's camp or a for forager's camp. Well, keep in mind, luckily they don't rot or anything. 
Let's take a look around. Do we have any other safe glades? Or is it pretty much just this area? Yeah, so we're probably going to have to bust into one of the da dangerous ones. That shouldn't be too bad, but I kind of want to leave it for a little while. Okay, so we can complete both of these. Gets us some reputation. So, ranch, plantation, forger, camp, and a smithy. Coats. Uh, so maybe we can actually do the cloth way sooner than I think. Plantation. Can produce berries and plant fiber from nearby farm fields. Ranch. Meat, leather, and eggs. Let's see, Forger's Camp would get us insects if we wanted to do it. I don't think we need the smithy. Coats could actually be good, but we have everything else. So the real question is, do we want... Can I take a look at how this works? Meat. So it takes plant fiber. Okay, so actually there's our answer. We gotta get the, uh, we gotta go for the plantation first because that gets us plant fiber. And then, next time, we get a ranch. So what else do we have? Training gear. Training gear could be useful. Packs of provisions. Pottery. Incense. Oh, provisioner. Gets barrels. Barrels are kind of useful. Same thing with this, though. I might actually be better off going for the cooperage, now that I'm looking at it. Though, we have no means of making bricks. We could maybe buy them. Yeah, so I'm going to go for the Cooperage. Okay, so we've got some things that we can do. I don't see... Uh, no, 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 no. Is this some farmland? Or, wait. Only placed on fertile soil. Requires a small farm. Plantation. No. No. So we, we have to find fertile soil, and we haven't found any yet. So I'm going to have to go looking. Well, hopefully I have enough resources to pull it off. There we go. They don't usually get into settlement managers, but I find this one to be a little bit more fun. A, a lot of it boils down to... Yeah, okay. Uh, a lot of it boils down to I just really appreciate the idea of short play settlement builders. I'm not really interested in making this like fine-tuned civilization. We're just gonna we're just gonna clear out all of this. I think is my answer. Trading. So build a trading post, traders will visit you periodically. I wonder if there's actually gonna be multiple. Or it's just Sahilda. And always going to be Sahilda. I don't know. Also, we have some more people, so I should probably leverage them. Grab some extra roots. Herbalist camp has no deposits nearby. Oh, it's a scavenger camp. Oh, we do have one of those. That's unfortunate. They don't have that many of those gears, which is a bit of an issue. But oh, whatever, this will get us some food at least for a little while. Okay, Marshlands Gatherer's Paradise. Gathering speed increased by 10% for every two workers applied to the gathering camp. Cool. I don't know if there's actual bonuses. Oh, you can see what they're up to. That's neat. Okay, so other thing I haven't mentioned about this game. Ooh. Uh, and this is something I should probably care about a smidge. Woodcutter's Camp. Stonecutter's camp. I'm gonna pull both of those off for a bit. We can't do any harpy houses and we can't do any big shelters, but I'm just gonna do a couple of basic ones because we are currently exposed and that's not great. If you notice, my people are getting, um, they're still content, but they're gonna be kind of grumpy at me. And so I'm going to just build some basic shelters. I can get rid of them at some point, and this increases our accommodation.
Okay, and this should give us 12. Yes. Okay, so now my people aren't terribly sad. So, during the rainy season, uh, your people will get depressed. Which is an issue. So we can get some herbs, roots, pottery, and vegetables. I don't have much for herbs. I'll probably be able to get more of it. The main issue here... Eh, no, let's take the lizards. We Now we have the beavers that we have to kind of manage, but it's fine. They're fantastic lumberjacks, from what I remember. At least I think they're supposed to be. And now we have some more people to leverage. Which means I should probably work on something. Rain Collector. Produces spark dew, makeshift post, makes packs of crops, provisions, building supplies. Crude workstation makes planks, fabric, and bricks. Cooperage in a mine. Oh, only place on coal and ore veins. That's new. But we're going to need a crude workstation. Because we're going to want to upgrade to harpy houses. Because if I can actually get those harpy houses going, um, my harpies are going to be way happier. Unfortunately, I have no easy... Let's see. I have no easy way of getting plant fiber at the moment. We gotta find... proper, uh, proper farming. And that means more or less busting into each and every one of these glades in hopes of getting something a little bit more useful. Okay. We also have this. Some world workers can't stop working. Three barrels for every ten planks. Or all houses have more places. Oh. I'm gonna go with the over-diligent woodworkers. Crowded houses is tempting, but really doesn't matter that much. Hey, and now we have Sahilda. Though, so, attack the traitor. Oh, that's a new one. And terribly stupid. So, clay production. Fuel burns longer in hearths. That's huge. And buildings have extra storage capacity. Interesting. So what do we get rid of? Resin. Used in crafting. Obtained in grove. Worth a lot. So I could sell all of this for 4.4. Sell my roots. But that's like practically my only food. I love the idea of the Firekeeper's secret techniques. But I almost think I'm going to have to just not. Oh yeah, re resin's worth nothing. I misjudged how, how much that's worth. Yeah, I'm I'm too poor. Okay, and we also have new orders. Uh, oh, I can deliver that. Though that might cost me a lot of food. We'll see. Builders can carry more items, simple tools, or a bunch of beavers. What is this? One hub upgraded to encampment. I'm going to go with that. Because that perk is good. Lumber mill. I might already have that. Versus. Ten more jerky for every pie produced. The only immediate problem is I have to make jerky somewhere. This one's a bit iffy, but... Is maybe doable. Okay, and we have a resolve point. A okay, meat farm temple. I'm gonna The Trapper Camp is the most tempting. Uh small farm, well good. We already have kind of a separate one that'll get us roots and fiber. And isn't that useful? So we got to go for Trapper Camp just because my, my food's going to start... It's going to start dipping. Okay, Trapper Camp. Okay, set that up so we can get some more food. So who is currently idle? Population. Builders are free workers. Okay, so I have I have six free workers at the moment. I'm just going to move the herbalist camp over here. Get it out of the way a little bit. Okay, so you. Right, we don't have any plant fiber yet. We're working on it, but we don't have any yet. 
Okay, and I think the lizards... I, I really do not know if the lizards have too much of a preference on some of these things. Their reputation threshold. These, these have a much lower one, which is part of the reason why I want to get that fiber. Okay. Idling. So I'm going to pull him off. Not that it really matters. And we'll put him back over here. We might want another lumber camp. Only immediate problem is it costs gears. We don't have that many. Well, let me take a look at this. My population is more than big enough. My only immediate problem is... I haven't exactly budgeted a whole lot of space for beauty. I need four decorations, yeah? Okay. Lizard post. And a fire shrine. Interesting. I'm just going to put a couple of these things all over. Because, yeah, actually upgrading my hearth seems like a good idea. Oh, comfort. That's aesthetics. These are comfort. I think I could move them too, can I? Yes, I can move literally anything. That is super nice. Okay, hold up. We actually have some stuff here. We have some abandoned cache. Fallen harpy scientists. Okay, so unfortunately this is causing my harpies to get kind of sad. Uh, so we can keep the goods or send them to the citadel. Keeping the goods gives us ways of the forest. Lowers hostility. By 50. That's really tempting, actually. Because lowering hostility more or less keeps us off of, uh, keeps my people happier. Yeah. So I'm going to send them to go do that. All right. Other, th other things we can do. Requirements, goods. Do we have simple tools? I don't think we do. Oh, but I can swap it for infused tools. Well, we can't do that. Either way, this will probably get sent off. Bleeding trees is kind of interesting in its own right. Okay, we also have a free cooperage that I could complete. It's unfortunate that I already have one, and it's kind of cheap enough that it might be worth it. We're going to need simple tools though which I gotta figure out where to even get those uh, let's see I'd be under production did I never get the ability to make simple tools I think I might have gotten the crude workstation instead oh but I can make bricks I just need clay. Or stone. What about here? I'll also use some leather if I want to. If I want to get the fabric. I don't have much though. But at least we can make some bricks. I'm just going to limit us to four bricks. But yeah, a free cooperage would be nice. And look at that big stone deposit. Ooh. That's nice. And look at all these worm tongue nests. And cop copper and coal deposits. Okay, so we also need at least two more houses. I could also get a big shelter.
Yeah, I'll get a big shelter down. Okay. Did we actually finish this off? No. But this will still fix our issues. Ooh, the harpies are in... I'm not going to say dire straits, but, you know, it's a rough spot. Also, we have... We actually have farmland. Then we can get a, a roll in. We'll have to clear out some more of this. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. I guess, where are my two lumber camps? I'm going to... Oh. These... These lasses are doing nothing. Let's move them out here. There we go. Okay, so what else do we have? We almost are done with the stone deposit and everything else is actually looking shockingly all right. Okay. I'm like actually almost out of builders. Well, it's fine. Everybody else is doing fairly dandy. Resources are looking great, and we've got some missives. So, do we want some simple tools, or do we want some plant fibers, reeds? Uh, yeah, let's go for that. And what else do we want? Three roots per minute, or one lizard for every 25 eggs produced. We're not really producing a whole lot of eggs, and that's a problem. So I'm going to go for three roots a minute, because that's effectively, I mean, free... Do not, do not look down on free food. And our hub got upgraded. Cool. So now, what can we do? We don't need an artisan. The bakery is actually really tempting. But I gotta look at the tavern. Leisure, but it requires ales and brawling. Training gear... Which I can make. Passive effects gleam in tails. Interesting. So I could grab a tavern. Because we should already have barrels just on the way. Or we could do this, which would get us food. Let me take a look. What's required for biscuits? Oh, flour. Never mind. We're going tavern. I need a farm if I want to do biscuits, and that's a little tougher. Okay. Anything else for me to do here? Not overwhelmingly. Okay. We're going to move this lad. Put it there. How about this? Do I have four bricks? I do. And we're just going to rebuild this. The food... Yeah, no. Isn't really that necessary. We've got so many roots that I think we'll be fine. Okay, and we're getting plenty of everything else. Okay, so what do you need to level up again? Current level encampment. Oh. What's the global resolve? Hubs can be upgraded by building homes, decorations, and service buildings within a hearth's radius. Every hub will grant you bonuses to resolve production speed and production output. These bonuses stack with every hub in your settlement. Interesting. So, to some degree, what I kind of want to do... ...is actually get another. Probably out here. Okay, so what else do we have? So what is this? Cut through the forest, get to some glades? That's tempting. Otherwise, packs of goods, which would increase our packs of goods yield, and how fast we produce them. This is easier, this is harder, but has a better bonus. I'm still gonna go for the easier one, because we need easy at the moment. Uh, let's see. Bonus root and berry yield. 
I'm gonna go for this. We'll have to figure out how to make the uh, the beavers happier. But that seems genuinely worthwhile. They're almost there, too. So traders arrive faster, builders carry more. Or ancient tablets. Oh, but that requires two. That's hard. Whereas spark do I could maybe do. And sell things. Yeah, that's that's a little bit more doable. Okay, so next order of business is grab a rain collector. Okay. Yeah, this should be producing berries, yeah? Yeah. So that should work really well for me. Scouts are idle in Cooperage. That's fine. We'll have the lumber for it soon enough. Okay, we have another Glade. Glade has... Coal deposits, some other things. Traders arrived. Old Faloof. Okay, so you're different. Looks like he has fire and stuff, and also perks. Plus one to barrel production. I think I might actually want to grab. Reason being, wild as it is, I get free barrels. Just by producing lumber. So, seems like a genuinely good idea for me to just, you know, produce barrels and sell them. Is there an auto balance? I don't think there is. Oh. Amber is not worth as much as I thought it would be. All right, we'll just go with that. I just have to trade an amount. We need to do packs of goods, but I'm not gonna bother with that until we're a little bit more stable next season. Question. We had a production thing, yeah? Mine. Can only be placed on coal and ore veins. Digs up copper ore. I'm gonna snag that. Oh, and I'm gonna put another person in here. And let's start actually using this leather for stuff. Oh. Try and use the leather for stuff. There it is. Wasn't switching over. Okay, Woodcutter's Camp has no trees nearby. This is fair. So, honestly, all things considered, I'm actually gonna move them up here, and we're gonna we're just gonna cut through into this area. Is there a way I can make it bigger? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're gonna cut it, cut through into here. It seems like a reasonably good area. And then at some point we'll want to start just ripping through this. Oh, might as well put another lizard here. Put that there. Okay, give them a path. Okay. Luckily, moving things costs no time, so I can just instantly reorganize my entire dang civilization. If I want to. It's kind of nice. Okay, put a harpy house here? Yeah. I'll just start making some spark do. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh, specialization bonuses. That's what it is. They like engineering. Might as well get that settled. None of my people are terribly sad. Scav camp is good to go. E. Move that over here. Okay, and tis the season for new things happening. So, do we want roots? 
and leather, or do we want grain reed and meat? I'm gonna go with this. And then what else do we have? Every two newly solved dangerous and forbidden events lowers hostility. Or Woodcutter's Prayer. Now nah, let's do Calming the Forest. Ooh. This is a Forbidden Glade. Interesting. I'm always kind of a wuss about those. But honestly, no. I'm feeling a little bolder. Okay, so other things. Fuel-wise, oh, we're doing fantastic. Maybe we get a second hearth. Why not here? Oh, because they're it's overlapping. Okay, let's just pop this one open. Let's just go for the money. Resin production would be nice. But I don't care that much. Can I move this cooperage? It actually actually does not look like I can. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. So we can make training gear here, but we can't make much of it. And then there's also cosmetics, which we most assuredly cannot make. But the barrels definitely require a little bit more effort than they used to. But that's not really a problem for me. Okay, and hopefully, hopefully we find some more farm land at some point. Okay, what else do we have? Let's see, trapper, trapper's camp needs to be moved. The question is... Now let's move it here. There we go, because we got to get rid of this stuff anyway. Okay, so we have a mine. Mine can get us coal and copper ore. This is engineering. So I, I got a... Oh, that's farm field. Yeah, yeah. That is what we want. Yeah, I haven't picked too much of that. Okay, do we have anything else anywhere? Specialization bonus herbs. I think that's a human thing, unfortunately. Yeah, so we're a little out of luck on that. However, oh, harpy houses can only hold two residents. Oof. Well, I'll just jam some more harpies in there. Because the more proper houses we have for harpies, the happier they're going to be. And the happier they are, if if I can get them, I believe, above that blue line, I actually start gaining some reputation just passively over time. I'm going to need six of these. Oof. Indeed. Well, it's fine. What else have we got in a moment? Oh, well, we got a message. We've got orders. Uh, let's see. Get a rain collector and 60 spark dew to get crystal growth, crystallized dew production, and some other things. I mean, that one's possible. Oh, this is tough. So this would get us a market, a bunch of money, and some other things, versus amber for every... The only immediate problem is I do not have any of this. I don't have any of this stuff. This strikes me as probably one of those impossible options. I'm going to just snag that. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think we're completing that one. Oh, and they want me to get a second rain collector. Okay, so here's the earth. 
around. Uh, let's see. Do we have another farm field? Yes. Put that there. I'm curious. Uh, no, it probably doesn't matter that much. As long as we got food, we're fine. It's just my people aren't going to be particularly happy. Ooh, Queen's displeasure is going up, or impatience is going up by a fair bit. Which is not great. At least the hostility of the forest is like really low. I think my big solution here is mostly going to be to dive into as many of these glades as possible and see what I can get. Uh, let's see. Is this the other woodcutter's camp? Yeah. We're going to move it here. So they don't have to walk nearly as far. And you know what? Resource wise, we should probably get another one. Okay. Because, yeah, we, we want to get up here. And we want to start punching into these glades. So what else do we have? Good sold, spark do, rain collectors. That was the other thing I needed to do. I don't actually need another... Uh, I, I don't actually need to do anything with the rain collector. I just need a second one. Uh, let's see. So they're here, rain collector. And we're going to have to buy some gears. I might actually be able to dismantle. Hopefully that gets me some resources back. Okay, and Zorg is here. Hello, Zorg. He sells tools and food. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Well, we don't... Uh, oh, no. Copper ore is good for a couple of things. I'm just going to sell all of my herbs. We'll get more. So what else does he, does he have? Ale production. Building storage capacity or grain production. Problem is I was hoping for some blueprints. Hold up. Meat diet jerky. I need 30 jerky. 34 jerky pie and skewers. Here's the question. What if I just sell all of my herbs? Fourteen biscuits. Fourteen pie. Okay, so I gotta put a little bit more in, into this to sweeten the pot. Oh, well, that's easy. Pretty much a perfect trade. Okay, and we're still paused. Uh, let's see. Extra leather production or. Oh, hostility from woodcutters reduced. I'm gonna go with that. Not that hostility really matters too much. Oh, interesting. Queen's Impatience. Flips that. Kind of good to know. Also kind of unfortunate because... A little late, but still. Okay, we have no objectives. Zorg. So I wanted to do... Th no, that's trade routes. Menu. Where's my consumption menu? Okay, we also get probably simple tools. Sadly, I can't make any. I really sincerely hope my none of my people buy any of this stuff. Looks like consumption control is something that I... Oh, and we have a glade. This might be something I need to care about. Okay, you... Working effects. Oh. That's fine.
So we could also gain incense. Oh. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Incense for every 10 roots produced. We produce a lot of roots. Not quite as much as I'd like in retrospect. But it's a decent chunk. Is it worth it? No, I'm just gonna send it to the citadel. We need we need time more than anything else. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this sucker. Okay. I'm just gonna burn all of my money. Seems a bit wasteful, I know. But I'm gonna burn all of my money to just stock up on these. So I don't have to worry about running out. I could go for bigger barrels, but I don't think that's going to change much. Uh, let's see. There we go. Perfect. So we can do good souls, spark do. The main problem is my guys have to finish pulling the resources out of this thing. Oh, my lizards are happy. That's a good sign. Okay, so what else do we get? <sighs> Bathhouse. That's interesting. Doesn't require resources that are hard to make. There's also, also the lumber mill if I want to make better planks. No, I think I'm going to go for the bathhouse. Make my people happier. Put it there. We are going to also probably want a second crude workstation. It's not great, but I have a wealth of resources and not a wealth of other things. Okay, can I see what the what's in this storage? Not really. My my people straight up might just be eating it all. And you know what? Honestly, it might just be better than this. Anyway. Okay, now we have to keep my beavers happy for a little while. That should be fine. Actually, no. Put these guys here. Oh. Oh, I see how that works. You just flip them both on. Okay, scav camp has nothing else nearby. But we have egg. We have a lot of egg. We also have these things. A couple of people send it to the Citadel. Cost me some food. Yeah. That should work. And then this gets me, ooh. I have nothing, so I can't even do anything with the abandoned cache. Even if I wanted to. It's got Seidel and Big Encamp. Oh, investigate. There we go. All right, Queens and Patience has been reduced dramatically. Everything else is feeling pretty great. Beaver's Resolve is good. Meat Diet is done. Uh, oh, skewers, that's what I needed. Well, my people might just get some food. And have a good time with it. I really cannot complain. Okay, and tavern. Really expensive. Probably worth it. But this way we'll get the bathhouse, which will be honestly just as good. So what is this perk? Every evening villagers gather. Uh, villagers will leave slower. 
and then global production rate is higher. If I can throw peop three people into this. Oh yeah, bath lizards. I don't have any cosmetics though. All of a sudden I'm starting to regret my options here. Egg. And resin. And herb. Okay, so we can make cosmetics. And we're all also about to win, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, oil, incense, water skins, fabric, wine, pickled goods. Uh, let's see. Press would get us. I don't know. None of these. None of these matter. Is part of the problem. Yeah, I guess I'll grab the druid's hut. And produce resin. Oh. You farm resin now. Okay. We do actually kind of need it. Ish. Beaver house or bakery. Or market. Let's see. I'm going to go beaver house. Okay. Beaver houses are kind of simple. I'm just going to put a couple of harpy houses down. Okay. Oh, right. I actually need somebody to work work this, don't I? I'll just have this guy. Handle it. Okay, so what else do we need? I mean, pretty much nothing. We need to wait like two minutes and then we just win. Or, I don't know, do literally anything. Oh, we have a missive. We have two more. Uh, let's see, training swords, sure. Or 16 beavers. I only have five. Oops. We have one, one beaver in need of a hoose. Okay, I'm gonna bump up its priority a smidge. They'll get it done when they get it done. Ah, I was so close. I was so close, but it's fine. All we have to do is just move up here, probably. Oh, yeah. This is, like, mad easy. Uh, did I pull everybody off of this one? I might have. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, we just gotta bump into any of these glades, or just get some spark dew. And then we win. I should probably bust into one of these at some point, but look, I'm a coward. This is... Uh, the mine is neat, though. I will keep that in mind for future runs. Just in terms of overall usefulness. Either way... We've completed a bunch of deeds, which gets us stuff. We also get rewards, artifacts, machinery, some EXP. And I could continue the settlement. I'm not entirely sure that what that would net me. But honestly, it's fine. Dinner time anyway, so I should probably get a rolling. Uh, let's see. And you can also see the various settlements. The problem is if you have them too close together, you don't get the bonus resources. Though you might get bonus resources from the corrosive torrent. That's, that's spooky. I'd rather be up here. But, if we go back to the Smoldering City, I have some deeds completed. So, rewards, EXP bonus, EXP bonus. Okay. I don't actually remember what EXP specifically nets us. But yeah, some of these also get you, like, decorations, uh, actual bonuses. Don't let the Queen's Impatience grow above four for a single game. Hmm. But I'll probably need some meta progression to actually get that one. Anyway, we also have uh, 14 bread, which is not great. Villager speed increase ain't terrible. And then everything else starts getting kind of expensive. Uh, I should probably play on harder difficulties, I think, if I want to get the really good stuff. 
Um, honestly, I think I'm actually just going to unlock this just so I can start with some stone and or clay. Uh, but for now, at least, uh, I should probably save my outro. So, Against the Storm is available now on Steam and the Epic Game Store. It's been there for a while. It's an absolutely fantastic meditative experience that you really can kind of customize to what you want. You want it to be blisteringly difficult? Oh yeah, that's an option. You want it to be a little bit more meditative and easy like I did? It's there too. And I believe, I don't actually know the price tag off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Against the Storm, I think it's a 20 buck game. But I could be wrong. Epic Game Store, what does it say? Okay, yep, 20 buck game down to 17. Probably going to be down to 17 for launch. Uh, but I, I, I don't know, maybe they are going to have a deeper sale. And I think it's still going to be in early access for at least a little while, which I think is perfectly fine. I want more people to play this one because it's super neat. Because, yeah, the idea of a roguelike settlement builder, it makes a lot of sense. But I'm kind of shocked that I've never seen anybody else do it. Anyway, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got so many more to show you. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.